when you when you're playing the elite teams, you know, one play sometimes can be the difference in the entire 90 minutes. Played pretty well at St. John's. Um, had a lot of it. Got a lot of positive feedback from people who watch on ESPN3 about how good we were. Um, at the end of the day, one breakdown, one mistake cost us the game. Um, it is a fine line, and the better the opponent, the, you know, the finer that line even comes, comes even more. This stretch here, Michigan, Penn State, and Akron, uh, very, very little room for error against teams of this caliber. Yeah, this stretch started way back against Georgetown, though, so. Um, the, this, this, this is, a, this is a, a good moment for us to kind of really learn and grow. Um, I thought we, you know, we've been admirable so far. Um, playing against a team of Georgetown's quality and man down for long stages and turning around and going on the road to Indiana and winning, coming back home and winning. And a tough St. John's team on the road and being good enough to win but not getting the result. Um, and this is just another one on a long list of very, very difficult games. So, um, you know, Michigan's a well-coached team. Shaka Daly was at Providence, knows us very, very well, knows this facility very, very well. Um, and, and, and it's just a very, very good coach. So um, Michigan's a program that's going to be very difficult to break down and be difficult to beat. But um, we've got a good team, and I, I certainly think we're, we're capable of, of getting a result on Saturday night. Yeah, I mean, again, home field is only what what you make of it. And, um, I'm a big believer in if it's going to be a home field advantage. You need to have you know the support of your fans, and we got to play well. Um, it's good for us because we don't have to go on a road and get on a bus or, or a plane and and go somewhere unfamiliar, but at the end of the day, it feels just a deal. What makes it a home field advantage is whether or not you have your crowd behind you, you have your fans behind you, and, and we're energized and excited to play. So um, if people don't show up, it's not much of a home field advantage. Um, but, but certainly this team knows how to win at the last and uh, you know, we're going for it all on Saturday night. Do you feel this team's been a complete 90 minutes? Do you yeah, no, we haven't put a complete 90 minutes together yet. Um, we haven't even close to putting a full 90 minutes together yet. But I think that uh, it's, it's a young team. And I mean, we start eight freshmen and sophomores regularly. It's, it's such a young group that it's, it's, I'm not surprised that we haven't put 90 minutes together yet. Um, and I'm not quite sure, even when we do, if we're going to be able to replicate it right away. That's something that comes with maturity and experience. It's what makes good teams so good. Um, but every single game, this team gets a little bit better. Um, and we gave up a soft goal against St. John's. It was the difference in the game. But if you watch the game, you'd have thought West Virginia was the team that was in control of it. So we're getting closer. We're getting better. Um, the hopes are is that this stretch, we start to find those 90 minutes.